Hey guys. Oh, we got a beautiful January day. And I'm gonna see about putting this hitch on. It's a Kurt, it's a model 13250. And uh, I wanna use this hitch. I wanna use this hitch to uh, mount my generator and put the generator on the swing out. So, you just have to take it out of the box. Uh, I'm gonna take this stuff out right here, and see what we have, and see about bulking it up. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is what comes with it. Got uh, a couple of plates here. And I had seen uh, someone else do a video on this. This is uh, the little tool spring you use to, I think, pull your plate up in there or you know I can't remember I have to look at the instructions but got a nice instruction sheet so I'm going to uh, get started on this and see how it goes okay one thing I want to mention it says uh, installation time professional 45 minutes novice 90 minutes so, being here at the Slow Shed Garage, I figured it'd take me three hours. Yeah, 45 minutes. It took me 45 minutes to get the bolt out of this side. Uh, maybe 30. You know, I thought it could make this a whole lot easier by dropping this tire down out of the way but that would be too convenient so I'll just do it the hard way if you can see up in there I don't know if you can see but this bolt right here uh, is not going to ain't going to be able to get a so I got over that to keep it from turning. So I'm going to take this. This right here off, I guess. I'm able to push the tire back to where I can get up in there. Uh, and then I'm going to be able to get that out. Now, are y'all gonna give me credit for having to stop and film time? Because I'm telling you now, hitting that novice number don't look good. So I didn't want to have to do this, uh, but I'm gonna drop the spare tire down so I can drill them holes out. Uh, if you never took your spare tire out, you got these bolts right here. And they go down to these hooks right here and you just I want to use my impact you just loosen them up let's go a little more Then whoa, I just don't want to up. Then the hooks push out. But it's not a little more. Hey guys, uh, I'm trying to finish this bumper up. You may remember I was starting on this thing a couple of times and uh, either had to stop or ran into a little issue. Uh, the hitch 
Uh, it's a Kurt, uh, maybe 13, 250. I'm not positive that's the number, I'll, I'll double check. But uh, it has play side to side uh, in between my frame rails. So I made these, uh, they're about a quarter inch and I'm hoping they're gonna take up the space that I need. I got these and these were the original spacers that were on there. So I have them I'm gonna put in. Uh, this was the uh, step bumper that was on the back of this thing. It was one of the shipping uh, cargo vans and uh, it had this on there, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to run this without changing the way this bolt up. So I may or may not put that back on. What I'm thinking I may do is actually, uh, I want to put a, uh, I want to put a swing out and put my generator on the back of this thing. So if I do that, I'm gonna, it'll set on one side and I'm gonna have the other side maybe open. So I actually may split this, split this and double the width of it and put it on the other side. So it's just something I'm thinking about. It'll be another like a cargo area basket or something. I make a basket and just haul some stuff in there. And uh, I'm still looking at ways maybe to uh, hang bikes on the back or something. But anyhow, I'm going to finish this hitch up tonight and get that done because I need to get the sprinter out. I had some other stuff I had to work on too. So that's what's going on. I think the instructions tells you to remove some of this undercoating right here and yeah I needed to do that because uh, this uh, this part here this is bottoming out on that undercoating and the top bolt holes don't really want to start in good so I'm just going to clean it out where they go in and slide in easy. I might be able to hammer them in, screw the threads up, but I can tell it's pretty thick. I'm going to clean that off and then uh, just push it up there and put my bolts in. It's pretty thick anecdote. So I got it bolted up and uh, I only used one of these of my aluminum plates I made for spacers. I used one on one side, I used the ones that came with the hitch and then I put one of the factory uh, shims, spacers, whatever it is, back up in there. So I only used one of the aluminum ones I made and then one of the original ones, nothing took up the gap. So we got it bolted up now, but I'm gonna have to uh, drill to bolt this hub right here. Instead of fighting and fighting with this hanger right here, if you'll put your screwdriver right up in there and then prise it up over that on top and then pull back. It'll slide off. I'm gonna put this down. Alright. Let me just slide off. Then I can probably I think I can there's one more hanger up there I can then do, but I'm probably just want to kind of prize this out of the way like this, and then I can get to this hole right here. Or I'm probably on the other side of that. Oh, cool. I just kind of prize my exhaust down right here a little, little bit, and that'll hold it out of the way, and I can drill this hole. I'm just going to pre drill a hole.
Okay, it says open uh, this hole up to. I forgot what it said. Inch and eight, maybe? Something. So I'm going to see if I can use a step drill. That's all I have. Open it that way. I had to change my drill, but we're back at it. Spin it too fast and burn that step drill up, but that thing won't go fast. Okay, my camera got full on the other side when I was filming, so I'll try this again. Features spring through from the small hole side over here, and I bent this, I put a big bend in this spring right here, and hopefully it'll about twist out. The big hole right here. I see it. I don't have quite enough you and my band here. Let me reach over with my other hand and pull that out. Okay. So you just pull that through there and thread your block on. Like I said, I'm doing this with my phone, sorry. Thread your block in first. Just, uh, I actually think I stuck the long part through first like that. So the blocks up in there, you can see the block and you actually, you can put the block like that and then Thread your bolts on. I'm going to have to move my hand here. I know you can't see this, but trust me. Okay. So now what I did, I threaded my bolt on the spring. And then you start pulling the other side. And what I did a while ago was I pushed the uh, the bolt I pushed the bolt up into that and just started pulling. Sorry about the camera work. And see there? There. It came out with a spring stall on it. Now I got the nut on it and just tighten the nut. Cause that's a uh, that's a carriage bolt, and the reason it's not spinning on the other side is that little square plate's in there, and it's down in that square hole, so the plate's locking in the frame rail. So if you're having to thinking, why is it not spinning on the other side? That's why it's not, cause it's a carriage bolt. So I'm gonna tighten this up, and I'll be done, guys. So that's it for the hitch. Uh, it took me uh, a lot longer than it really said, but I had to open my frame holes up just a little bit for these half inch bolts, because a few of them were really tight. So I opened them holes up a little bit, and then I had to make the space sure to talk about. But uh, once you get, once I got my old 
bumper off. A lot of you are not going to have that bumper, and um, it's, it's not going to be quite as bad. But anyhow, it's on there. Just another project done. And like I say, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about uh, the reason I put this on here is I want to mount a swing out here and uh, to where I'm going to mount my generator. And then also I'm going to have maybe another accessory rack on the other side and uh, maybe some bike racks.